Say, Fred, meet Mary Brown, new drill press operator. Mary, this is Fred Yates. Hello. How do you do? I've introduced Mary around, so get her started, will you? I've got to go check that new EO that's coming through. Fred will take care of you. Better remove that wristwatch, Mary. And Fred, you fix her up with one of those new safety caps. Okay. Well, let's get going. Well, there's your machine. It's all set up. Here's the material you work on. Now all you've got to do is put each tube in the jig with the threaded end at the open end of the jig, tighten up on your thumb screws, hold the jig solidly under the drill, put a little oil on the drill, and when you start drilling, ease up on the handle so the part won't climb the drill and bust. Okay? Well, I guess I... Swell, go to it. I'll be back in a little while. Oh, and uh, by the way, read your safety book before you start to operate. the new girl doing? Okay, I got her started about 20 minutes ago. Mmm, fast work. Well, she seemed pretty smart. Guess I better check up on her, though, to see how she's making out. Couldn't have been. On two of these, the holes are in the wrong end. Well, I guess I'll have to show you. Now look. First you put the piece of stock in the jig with the threaded end toward the open part of the jig. You tighten down on the thumb screw. Then while you hold the jig solid under the drill, you take this brush and you brush on a little oil. Now you drill with a steady pressure. You ease up a little on the handle as you feel the drill cutting through. And after you've pulled out the drill, you take the part out of the jig and you put it in the box with a hole toward the front. Now you can do that. There's nothing to it. Go ahead, drill a dozen or so. I'll be back in a little while. You'd better take a rest. What's the trouble? Nothing at all. The part climbed the drill, that's all. Of all the dumb bunnies. Now we've got to get another operator. I thought you said you got her started okay. Well, I told her and I showed her. What more could I do? Hmm? I'm afraid there's a little more to it than just telling and showing. But look, Fred. Why don't you watch Bill? He's a darn good instructor. Or maybe some of the other boys who are older hands at the gate. Yes, there is more to it than just telling and showing. There's a lot more to it. And in the weeks that followed, Fred found that instructing called for a step-by-step -step procedure. He learned to apply common sense to the needs of each particular person. What kind of a drill press did you operate? Oh, I worked on one just like this. Good. Then you won't have a bit of trouble. What kind of material did you work on? Mostly flat stuff. Well, this job is a little different. It's a hollow tubing job. But it won't take you any time at all to get the hang of it. Now then, this is the part that you're going to be working on. 
It doesn't look very important, but it is an important part in an airplane. And your job is going to be to drill a hole right here through the collar so that it can be tapped later on for a set screw. This is the final assembly. And the part that you'll be working on goes right here. I see. And this is the hole I've got to drill? That's right. Now, if you'll just stand right here where you can see, I'll explain everything to you step by step as we go along. All set? All set. First, you fit the piece in the jig with the collar fitting snugly in the wider portion of the recess. Then you tighten the larger thumb screw so that the hole will be accurately located. Then tighten the smaller thumb screw so that the work will be securely held in the jig. Now you already know how to start and stop the machine. You start it with the pedal at the right and stop it with the pedal at the left. Now hold the jig firm so that the work won't move during the drilling operation. Take this brush and put a little oil on the drill. We use oil to keep the end of the drill from burning and to wash away the chips from the hole as the drill cuts through. Now to drill the hole, you apply a steady pressure to the handle so that the drill cuts even. When you feel the drill cutting through, you ease up on the pressure so that the hole will be cleared out without the drill grabbing. Then remove the drill, take the part, and stack it in the tote box with the hole toward the front end. All right, now I'll drill another one. But this time, you tell me what to do and just how I'm to do it. All right. Well, first you put the tubing in the jig so that it fits in the recess. Now you tighten the large thumb screw. And now you tighten the smaller thumb screw. Now place the jig firmly under the drill. Now you oil the end of the drill. Now you bring down the drill with a steady pressure on the handle. That's right. But this drilling operation is all in getting used to the feel. Here, put your hand over mine as I have pressed down on the handle. Now it's just beginning to come through. Feel the difference in the pressure? And so you ease up on the pressure. That's right. Now you remove the drill, take the piece off of the jig, and place it in the tote box with a hole at the front end. That's very good, Ellen. All right, if you'll just change places with me, we'll have you drill one. Okay. But before each move, I want you to tell me just what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Okay. First, I put the tubing in the jig so it fits firmly in the recess. Then I tighten up on the large thumb screw and on the smaller one. Now I put the jig under the drill and hold the work firmly. I oil the end of the drill and bring down the drill with a steady pressure on the handle. That's right. This time, I'll steady your hand while you're getting the feel of the drill. Now the drill just starting to come through. I ease up, remove the drill, and take the part out of the jig. and stack the part in the tote box with a hole at the front end. You've got the pattern of the job all right, and you know how to apply it. But just to make doubly sure, suppose you run through it once more, and this time, give me the reasons why. All right. First, 
I put the tubing in the jig so as it'll fit firmly in the recess. Next, I tighten the large thumb screw and also the smaller one. Now, I put the jig under the drill and hold the work firmly. Yes, why? So the work won't move during the drilling operation. Now, I oil the drill so as to keep the end of the drill from burning. And there's another reason. Oh, and uh, so as to wash away the chips from the hole as the drill comes through. And now I put the part in the coat box just like this. Yeah, but why, Ellen? Why? So as it'll be all ready for the next guy. <laughs> Well, can I check off the new girl on the training timetable? Has she learned the job? She's right on the beam. Okay. But tell me, how did you go about it? Well, first I showed her what to do and explained the operation step by step. Then she told me what to do as I repeated the demonstration. Then she actually did the work but told me just every move she was going to make before she made it. Then she repeated and gave me all the whys and the wherefores. Then she actually took over the job while I stood by and made sure that she had everything down pat. Now she's on her own and she's going to make an A1 operator. Any difference between telling and showing and instructing? <laughs> a whale of a difference. A careful instruction job may take some extra minutes at the start, but I'm here to tell you it saves time, and money and a lot of headaches in the long run. <laughs>